So hi, I'm Tom Bragg from Cambridge Carbon Footprint, or CCF, and I've been doing thermal imaging and training others for over a decade. Now this video is about using this thermal imaging camera, which is the Fluke TIR105. It's the newer of the two cameras that are available to borrow from CCF when you've been trained in this and in interpreting the images. If you're borrowing the slightly larger Fluke TIR camera, then see a separate video about using that. You turn on the TIR105 by pressing and holding this power button until it peeps. And then you get this start screen. And after a bit, this is the thermal image, but it's just noise because first of all, we have to open the lens cap. This is the visible camera. This is the therm infrared thermal imaging camera. And now you'll see in a minute that here is my cup of tea. Before you take pictures, Let's do these checks. First of all, check the battery indicator in this top corner. And as you can see at the moment, this has three bars out of four. So that's in pretty good state. If you need to plug in the battery charger, it goes in this socket. Then in the top right of the screen here, it's showing that the camera's in auto. So leave it in that state. If you need to change it, when you hold F1, this left hand key, for more than half a second, it changes to manual. I don't recommend that. Here's my uh, cup of tea doing odd things in manual. That's more of an expert mode. Hold F1 until it's in auto. Now the cup of tea adjusts itself. So before we start, we need to use the menus to check the file format of the saved images. So we uh, call up the menus, go to settings down the bottom, and I go to the right, and I'm going to check file format there, which to the right. And you'll see these choices. At the moment it's on JPEG, which is good, the normal imaging format, BMP is another that's okay, but don't use this IS2 format, a special fluke format. It is only for use if you're using their smart view software. So just check it's in JPEG and leave it there. And then we can go back, or in fact, we can exit the menu by pulling the green trigger button. Finally, check that the display is showing a thermal image. Here's my cup of tea. The thermal image inside a visible image. You can see this visible image around the outside of the thermal one. This is what I recommend. It gives a context for the thermal image. Sometimes you forget what it is otherwise. Um, if this is set wrongly, I'm going up here to image to the right. This choice called infrared fusion gives you these choices. The top one is what I recommend, a kind of picture in picture. If it's in this mode, the whole screen goes infrared, which um, can be hard to interpret, or you can have the whole screen visible if you want. But um, choose the one at the top, the picture in picture, done, we'll make that happen. And here we are with the display we want. Okay, we're ready. This camera's lens here is fixed focused. And so anything like this mug that is closer than about four foot, 1.2 meters, will be getting a bit out of focus. But let me show you nevertheless here, if you've got something interesting, you take a picture by pulling this trigger, like so, pull the trigger, and now you'll see it's giving me the option to save here. 
The picture is frozen, but it's not saved until I press this button. When I press that, it tells you, confirms the image is now saved. So you must remember that, because just pulling a trigger hasn't taken a photo. So when you want to get the saved images out of your camera, you open this flap and eject the SD card. Your images are on there. If you don't have a slot for this on your PC or other device, then in the camera bag, you should find this adapter and that can slot in. And then this will plug into your USB port on your device. And then you can treat the, cat, the images just in a normal way. So when you finish using the camera, please remember to close the lens cap and to recharge the battery in the socket here and to delete your images from the uh, SD card and replace it there. Thank you. So those are the basics on using this Fluke TIR 105 thermal imaging camera. There's more information on expert features in the user manual, which you can download from the thermal imaging pages of the Cambridge Carbon Footprint website. Remember to follow CCF procedures on borrowing and returning the camera and on COVID safety. Details are there. And also uh, a thermal imaging guide to remind you about how to interpret thermal images. So wishing you success in using thermal imaging to reveal where buildings are leaking heat. Good luck.